Hello students, welcome to Excel Academy's uh, YouTube channel. Now, here we have 10 MCQs on uh, the production chapter of Business Economics. Now, let us take uh, these questions and let us try to answer them. The first question for us here is, identify the natural factor of production. Now, what do we understand by natural factor? Something which comes from the nature and there is no human involvement in it. When it comes to labor, there is human involvement. When it comes to capital, there is human involvement. When it comes to organization skill, there is human involvement. But when it comes to land, there is no human involvement because land is a natural resource. So the answer for this question is option A. Let's go to the second question. Technical relationship that connects factor inputs and output is called dash. Now there are options that are given to us. The first option is production. Now production is not the answer because production is a process of transforming inputs to output. So this is this is not the answer. Second thing is, the second option is production process. Now what is production process? The steps that are involved in converting input to output becomes production process. So this is also not the answer for us. The last one that is there for us is production function. So what is production function? Production function is a mathematical equation which relates the function of capital and labor with the output. So here, the technical relationship. So the answer for this is option C, that is production function. The third question is, the locus of all combinations of factors of production which produces a given level of output. Now, what, is, what does this mean? Say, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, we have the capital on the y-axis, we have labor on the x-axis, and this is the origin. Now, there are different combinations of k and l that are possible, and what we do here is, let us connect all these things. So, these are the different locus points that we have, and all of them, although their combination is different, they are giving same level of output. So the locus which connects all the combinations of factors of production which gives the same level of output is the isoquant curve. So the answer for this is option A. The next question is, according to dash, there is, uh, let's make a small change here. Let us add ISEs here. According to dash, there is limited uh, substitutability between the factors of production. So when is that possible? When it is a kinked isoquant curve. Remember this, when it is kinked isoquant curve. So the answer is option C. Question number five, identify different returns to scale. Now we know in the uh, short run, we have the law of variable proportion. Now in the law of variable proportion, we get the output this way. We have the increasing returns to scale, we have the diminishing returns to scale, then we have the negative returns to scale. We generally call it as stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3. So the answer for this question is all of the above, that is option D. Next question is, in which of the following time frames all factors of production remain constant? See, if you have to very broadly classify the time frames, we can classify them as very short run. Next is uh, short run. After that, it is long run. So what happens in short run? All the inputs are kept constant. In short run, few inputs are constant, few of them are variable. But when it comes to long run, all the inputs are variable in nature. So the question for us here is, in which of the time frames all the uh, inputs remain constant. So the answer is very short run and the option here is option 1, that is A. Law of constant returns to scale is related to. See, if you take short run, we have the law of variable proportion. If you take long run, you have the law of returns to scale. So the answer for this is long run, which is option number 1. Eighth question is, cost incurred on land and machinery is. Like we know, land and machinery are going to remain in the business for a long period. They are the fixed assets of the business. And with the change in the scale of production, the cost that we incur on land and machinery is not going to change. It is going to remain constant. So the answer for this is it is a fixed cost. Next question is, which of the following factors is variable in short run? Now, in short run, we generally consider according to the Cobb-Douglas equation, two inputs. One is capital and other is labor. And generally, we keep capital as a constant factor and labor as a variable factor. So the answer for this is option B, which is labor. Question number 10, the last one in this series. 
producers would be incentivized to produce more as a result of increase in dash. See, price is directly proportional to quantity supplied. That is, when price increases, quantity supplied also increases. For us to increase the quantity supplied, the production, that is the output, should also be increased. Only then we'll be able to supply more. So when are we ready to supply more? When the price is more. And when will we be able to supply more? When the supply increases, that is when the production increases. So the answer for this is the producers will be incentivized. They'll be very happy to produce more if the price that is available for their goods and services in the market is higher. So the answer for this is option one, it is price. Now these were the questions on uh, the production concept. If you have any doubts related to these questions or any other doubts in production concept, you can leave it in the comment section. We shall get back to you with the right answers. Thank you so much. Thank you.